<laughs> what? Do you have a guy named Mallard in your, uh... You're fired. In your uh, waiting room? Why well, moved everybody? What's his name? <laughs> Actually, just might have fired him. Oh, well, uh... He has to say, uh, back in my old unit, the commander used to, s used to tell us at uh, morning calisthenics, whenever you're in trouble, hit the start button. Wonder how he's doing these days. <laughs> Man, I haven't thought about that guy in a while. <laughs> Eureka, my research is going to blow your mind, boss. Press the start button, he always said. <laughs> Walker's being controlled from the control tower. It's to the northeast. Get going. We'll be there to back you up. Okay. The control tower that's controlling Peace Walker is located to the northeast. Go back east the way you came, then head north from there. Yeah, so this is just full on alert mode no matter what, so, uh. It's just fun to bring big guns for this level. Straight murder dudes. Oh yeah. Snake, why can't you just let go of the ladder or slide down it or something? Press the down button on the D-pad. On the D-pad. Yep, that lets you drop. Why would it be touching the D-pad? <laughs> well, that, it, the PSP controls are still kind of here. You can still use like the down button for crouching, so pressing X might actually work. Oh, oh man, I'm trying to snipe this dude, but his head is like right in front of the railing. There we go. Wow, 40,000 points of damage. Should have taken a regular rifle. Why's that? Uh, the machine gun just has such terrible uh, aim. Uh oh. Just bounces Why around. Why have the foul and the recoils on it is kind of ridiculous. I stole one of those dudes. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Just for, just for funsies. You're the only man that survived! <laughs> Work for me, so please! You love me, you love me, right? I spared you. You totally won't betray me or anything. I mean, I exploded your legs, kind of. <laughs> a little. But then I healed them, so... <laughs> we cool? We cool. Look, we have experimental legs, we have this powder you eat, and it might grow back? We're not quite sure, but please continue eating the bone powder. <laughs> uh, it's for an experiment. <laughs> I wouldn't advise not eating it, that's for sure. <laughs> you! With me! Yeah! Your bulky armor, you're probably awful. Is the PUW still there? Probably not, huh? No. Here, stay behind me, I've got a shield. Nice. Oh, behind us. I was wondering why I was taking so much damage. Oh, jeez. Oh, I was about to shoot him in the head. <laughs> also, if you manage to shoot... Like, if you shoot guys in the legs, they'll fall over and they won't be able to move. But if you manage to shoot a guy, like, directly in the kneecap, they, like, fall down on their ass. Oh, nice. Takes them a while to respond. I'm just curious. I assume the POW has been moved in the time we were over there. Most likely. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah, I'll, I'm pretty sure there are no POWs in this level. It's too intense for them. They all ran away. <laughs> they all sl slinked away like a, like a <laughs> snug. Mm-hmm. <sighs> the biggest hallway yet we've needed the... Uh, <laughs> Power of yep. friendship to tackle. We need this entire hallway to to like fit our friendship in. Can't even <laughs> well, get to point, those small it's gaps been a, anymore. Like several hours of working together, and I think like maybe it's that uh, we're a little tired of one another, so now we need our space. 
Right. Yeah, so you might want to take cover in these gaps, because there's lots of dudes here. Some of them have rocket launchers, in fact. Also, I think you just did it, but uh, yeah, you can blow up these rafters. Yeah, I did that. It was not intentional. I was just trying to kill the kidnapper, actually. Yeah, uh, you can crush dudes with the falling rafters. Also, uh, blowing them up, making them fall to the ground, gives you lots of cover. Nice. Ah, oh, that guy killed himself. That's what he gets for trying to shoot me with a rocket launcher. Fire there from behind now. Okay. I should probably put like rations in my pocket. There we go. Yeah. Right in the butt. Oh, he, shot, he grabbed it. Yep, yeah, shot him in the butt. Grabbed it and everything. Oh. I mean, two can play that game, man. Oh. What? That thing gave him some phenomenal cover, because he did not die. Hmm. Oh, come on. Oh, something I've forgotten to mention, and we'll probably hear later in this level. You know how, like, if you use one of the big mounted turrets and Snake yells? Yeah. It's not just Snake that does it, everybody in this game does it. So if an enemy gets on that and starts shooting at you, they also scream at you. Just screaming. Yeah. That's awesome. Alright. Everybody knows <laughs> the way to most effectively guide your bullets <laughs> is to scream at them. Imbue them with your screams. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, so God, we have to run for it. On. Okay. Yeah, we have to run for it, because that door is closing, but there are also men behind us. So, uh, first of all, I'm gonna snake in with you. Good luck. <laughs> yep. Oh, good lord. Oh, hell. First, I'm gonna use my cur- Oh, that's dropping my curry. Silly me. Dude's ahead, no! Yep. Thankfully, we got here soon enough, but, uh, yeah, if you get here really late, mm -hmm. uh, either of us could, uh, press the action button to prop the door up while the other runs underneath it. Uh -huh -huh. Oh, good, it's here. That went smoothly. Ish. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there's a helicopter here, and he can blow up the walls with his missiles. Nice. Oh, hell, there is a guy with a shotgun right here. There's nowhere to run. You've got to take those guys down. So this is the room where we might want to take it a little bit slow because of the music. It'll start. Oh, hell. Oh, I didn't bring smoke grenades. That would have been useful here. Sorry, right, I'm on a turret. What I like to do with this area is, uh, anytime the helicopter- Oh, good lord! Oh, gee. Yeah, you get hurt a lot if you leave this hallway. Um, once walls have been exploded, I like to put claymores in front of them because guards will try to run through these holes. Nice. So. Oh, I didn't mean to have stuck supporting fire. Hmm. <laughs> I thought that was a supply marker. I'm an idiot. I'm pretty sure you will not trigger my claymores, but be careful just in case. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> any... any... holes. Yeah, that's where claymores will be. Is that a supply marker? Yeah, that one is. This time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Heavens divide. This is 
is very clearly <laughs> supposed to be just like Snake Eater. Oh, okay. Mm hmm. So, what rocket launcher do you have on you? Um, I've got the FIM 43. Oh, good. That's good for the helicopter. Yeah, actually, let me do that right now. Yeah. This one doesn't have fuel tanks for you to blow up. No, it's just a main shot at him. Yeah. Oh! Okay, we can trade rockets, that's cool. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You're a jerk. <laughs> well, the good thing is we've learned this already with the Chrysalis fight. If I knock you over, you're actually invincible while you fall over. That's true. So the missiles won't hurt you that much. Oh boy. <laughs> See, like, Snake Eater is kind of slow and makes sense when you're climbing that ladder. It's, like, very atmospheric. This is well, not really a match. This, uh... this song kicks in, though, oh, in okay. a second. I'm, so I'm sorry. I don't yeah. Jumping the gun, my bad. I still stand by my statement, though. <laughs> I still like this song, shut up. <laughs> I feel like I'm listening to a Celine Dion soundtrack <laughs> while trying to play yeah, my action it, video game. It really is, but... Oh. That hurts a lot. Oh, the helicopter ran off. For good? You don't actually. You don't actually have to blow it up. Uh, you can just. However, I'm pretty sure there's still more people later on. He's back. Oh, okay. He will sometimes just run off though. You don't have to blow him up. Oh, there he goes now. Yep. So watch out, I've got C4 by the big door that's going to eventually open. Here we go. No, no, no rocket launchers. Stop that. I don't have any Fultons, so... I want to grab these guys who can. Uh, wrong pocket. Oh, Hush Miller. Oh, there's one guy left who's still, like, bleeding out. There. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> oh, did you shoot him from here? Like, his hand? Yep. Nice. <laughs> so, is that just music we hear in our heads when interesting shit's happening, or...? Yeah, okay. when it gets serious for Snake, he thinks of Celine Dion. <laughs> Snake! Big Boss, you made it. Too late, though. The false data's already in place. False data. That's right. Peace Walker is designed for deterrence, nothing more. She is incapable of initiating a nuclear attack on her own. She will only awaken and attack when it's time to retaliate. Peace Walker is a weapon of peace, after all. First, we'll enter data for an imaginary Soviet nuclear strike on the U.S. homeland. After assessing the data as a threat, Peace Walker will automatically enter retaliation mode, selecting the optimal target from a predefined list. For this scenario, we have reverse engineered the false data so that she'll inevitably end up choosing the Caribbean Sea as her target. 
You're really gonna do it, aren't you? Know this. Peace Walker's retaliation will be the first and last of the Cold War. It is the only way we will ever come close to achieving true peace. All that is left is to enter the cold. Go! No! Stand down, big boss. You're late. Professor. Professor? Yes, well, taking over the base took longer than expected. But I uh, brought the technology. What? You provided the money and land. Center alone could never have accomplished so much in so little time. Zadarnov, you backstabbing son of a... Backstabbing? Correct me if I'm wrong, but were we not enemies all along? Do you really think my comrades were working for the company? Do you truly think we'd faithfully serve a pack of depraved capitalist dogs? What are you going to do? Launch a nuke. Target Cuba. Have you lost your mind? What would you possibly gain? We won't be the ones launching it. You, the Americans, will attack our ally, Cuba. What? Think, Coldman. We're on an American base, eagerly endorsed and supplied by a pro-American regime. What's the international community to think? The world will burn with anti-American sentiment. Communism will spread across Latin America unchecked. Ugh! Let the age of deterrence be undone by the deterrent itself. Such is the Kremlin's plan. You son of a bitch! Us, come here. Shoot him. Professor Galvez. Hmm. I am Vladimir Zadornov. And the Vladimir means ruler of peace. Now, do as you're told, us. Don't do it! Remember what they did to you at their base on the coast. For what Coldman's done, he deserves nothing less than death. I'm sorry! I can't... Truly a child of peace. <laughs> no! Wait! <laughs> Only fitting that retribution be delivered by a dead hand. You... You missed on purpose! Your part in this isn't done. I need you to enter the code. <laughs> Doctor, the target is now Cuba. Please make the necessary modifications. And don't even think of resisting. I'll crush you, but only after I crush your beloved first. No. Not that. Cuba is now the retaliation target. Very well. Good. It is done. As for you, big boss, I've been watching you all along. You've performed beyond even my highest expectations. A true commandante. What are you talking about? Hmm. Why do you think I summoned you to Costa Rica? Had you make contact with the Sandinistas? <laughs> A true intelligence operative never gets his hands dirty. Need a revolution? Manipulate the locals into doing it for you. You mean Amanda and the Sandinistas? You've done well. You took a ragtag band of guerrillas, children, and shaped them into a full-fledged, formidable army. And now, you'll truly become our century's most complete human being. Shape. Gothara? None other. A hero who, gunned down by the CIA, becomes a legendary icon. The Sandinistas will rise up in revenge, overthrowing the pro-American regime and wresting Nicaragua from U.S. hands. And the nuclear strike on Cuba naturally will be the last straw. Mammalport data entry is complete. Dead at age 39. Just like El Che. Ironic, isn't it? In the end, a 
legend is merely fiction. You'll die as the boss did, and become as did she, an eternal fraud. Go! 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 Dare point your gun at a comrade? We will not be pawns of the KGB. We will win our own victory! Hasta la victoria siempre! Amanda! <sighs> we're home! Look! We're back in Nika! We did it, Amanda! I, I mean... Comandante! <sighs> Boss, you hurt? I'm fine. Big boss. 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 You're a regular Joan of Arc. Nonsense. You're the hero here. You saved my life. You're the heroes here. I never figured you for a softy, Snake. Thanks. It's good to see you. Paz can stay with us until she's back on her feet. And the Professor? We'll find him a nice, comfy cell. Coldman's lost a lot of blood. He may not make it. Hmm. Where's Amanda? Back with her compass. She'll catch up later. How about you, Snake? I'm not done yet. The AI. I have to finish this. That boss is a fake. I'm gonna bury it. We'll save the champagne until you get back. May as well celebrate peace while it lasts. I didn't bring her back to life because I was forced to. I wanted to know how she really felt. How it really ended. The boss is dead. No, she's alive. Some truths are better left buried. You don't mean that. Be honest. You want to know too, don't you? Whether what you saw and heard at the end was the truth. She'll tell us. I know she will. Thank you for stopping them. And I'm sorry. I can't imagine how it hurt. I'll live. I'm used to shock therapy. You are? Well, it's very kind of you to say. Let's go meet her, shall we? Get in, boss. Don't pick up a gun unless you know how to use it. Aiming a weapon alone doesn't make it a deterrent. You're the angel of peace. Leave the guns to us. That was our agreement, remember? The army's leaving Costa Rica now. The mission is complete. Thank you. <laughs> What's that noise? do <laughs> I should have killed you when I had the chance Norad's nightmare is about to begin what peace walker determines retaliation targets based on enemy nuclear strike data 
That data can be sent to third parties as well. We got big problems, Snake. Colbin's activated the nuclear launch switch. What? And the target's Cuba? Yeah, but that's not it. The son of a bitch has screwed us all over. When Peace Walker was activated, it started transmitting the false data sent to NORAD. It's using a spread spectrum MLF signal. It can't be blacked out, even by EMP. There's no way to tell the difference between false data and the real thing on a radar screen. NORAD will have no idea it's all a ruse generated by Peace Walker. They'll think it's a real Soviet attack. They'll pass on the data to the National Military Command Center. And Washington will have to choose whether or not to retaliate. This could get ugly. Unless we stop it, we're looking at a retaliatory chain reaction. No! No need to panic. The nightmare will end soon enough. What do you mean? Coldman's aim is for the bureaucrats in Washington to see the importance of a machine like Peace Walker. He's trying to prove that humans don't possess the will to launch nukes. Everything will be fine. They'll never retaliate. They're only human. Cuz, where's the president? Last I heard, he was in the middle of SALT II negotiations in Vladivostok. With the president gone, nuclear launch authority passes to the next person in the chain of succession. The vice president's gone too, so after him comes the speaker. President. Vice president. Not one among them has the courage to push the button. No one willing to enter history as the great destroyer. In the end, it's not their lives that people value most. It's their reputations. The bureaucrats in Washington may not be able to retaliate. Peace Walker, on the other hand. She's loyal to the mission above all. And she's well aware that guaranteed retaliation is essential for nuclear deterrence to work. Peace Walker is the perfect deterrent. Cuba would not have been my choice of target. But you can't make peace without breaking the Wings. Now that Peace Walker has the false data, retaliation is inevitable. Are you insane? You think it'll end there? You're about to unleash all-out nuclear war. Somebody find out what's going on at NORAD. Mammal's got a connection to NORAD. We could monitor it with the right equipment. I've got you covered. I've got NORAD on the line. Sir, we're tracking unidentified targets. Current apogee, 20 degrees. Estimated time of re-entry is 2250 Zulu. Have they contacted the president? Coverall is not responding. Warning system checks out. No corresponding natural signatures. Data is assessed as reliable. Cut the data transmission. We can't say for sure Washington isn't going to retaliate. The only one who knows the abort code is me. I die. No one can turn it off. Even if they do strike back, I'll already be dead. I can only pray that my theory, my peace, is proven right. Peace. Go to DEFCON 3. Get Zack on the phone. This is Crystal Palace. Stand by for an emergency meeting. They're at DEFCON 3. The false data and the nukes are both coming from the same source. We have to stop Peace Walker. The only way is to destroy her. She's entered launch mode. Peace Walker's rendered her judgment. The target is Cuba. Snake, don't let it launch the nuke.
sending ballistic trajectory. Once that's finished, it's all over. Snake, you've got to destroy the platform. Jesus.